Hi, and welcome back to Epic Restorations. On our last episode, we built a temporary seat and dashboard, we wired up the engine, and we got it running. Unfortunately, we quickly realized that the clutch pedal needed to be adjusted before we could take it out of the barn for a drive. Today, we plan to adjust the clutch pedal down to about the one inch that it needs to disengage. And with any luck, this will fix our problem and we should be shifting through the gears in no time. If time allows, we're also gonna free up a little workspace in the shop today by moving the old chassis in the body to my barn for the winter. We've got a big day planned today. So, let's get to work. When the clutch pedal is depressed, there should only be about one inch of movement before it starts to disengage the clutch. As the clutch facing starts to wear over time, this clearance will gradually become less and less. This means that we will need to occasionally check it and make adjustments as needed. First we check the pedal for play to determine how much adjustment was needed. Ours clocked in at about three and a half inches of travel. Next, we placed a small hydraulic jack under the clutch actuating arm and raised the arm enough to relieve any tension on the pedal clevis rod. From there, we rotated the clevis rod in the trunnion nut to adjust our pedal clearance. Turning the rod counterclockwise to decrease the play, we brought it down to just about one inch of clearance before it started to disengage from the clutch. With our adjustments made, we reconnected the clevis rod to the clutch actuating arm, replaced the pin, and lowered the jack. Next up on our agenda was to move the old chassis and body to my barn for the winter. In the winter time, real estate at the shop is hard to come by because so many things need to come inside. In order to free up a little room, we're gonna relocate the old chassis and body for the time being. We still have big plans for it this winter. We plan to take off the doors, remove the gas tank, rebuild the steering, and do a few other smaller jobs as we continue to work on our project through the new year. With the help of our winch and the flatbed trailer, we had the car loaded, secure, and ready to go in no time. With the help of a few wheel dollies, some he manual labor, and a little finesse, we had the Model A safely and securely tucked away for the winter. With the Model A taken care of, it was time to get back to the shop to take the new chassis for a test drive.
Driving the chassis up and down the driveway and shifting through the gears allowed us to really get a good feel for how the engine and transmission were performing. The engine sounded great. It started up nice and easy and ran really smooth. The transmission felt pretty good too and we were able to get it as high as third gear in the driveway. We'll have to wait until spring to really get it up to cruising speeds. tested the mechanical brakes, and overall, we were pretty satisfied. We will still adjust them once the body's on the car, but they seem to work as advertised. Restoration is a slow, methodical process that simply can't be rushed. Two steps forward and one step back from time to time. But that's part of the learning and part of the experience. One thing is for sure, when we finally wrap up this project a year or so down the road, there won't be anything we don't know about this Model A. Join us next time as we dig into our first wintertime project on Epic Restorations.